I've been ski mountaineering for over 20 years. And when you come to a new mountain range, you take everything you've learned. You're trying to, to do things better than you've done them before. Being able to put all of that together for me is, is deeply motivating. Greenland's always been a blank spot on the map for me. I've never been here before. And the Mavic 2 having a five mile range and 44 mile an hour max speed is really useful on a lot of different levels out here. There you can see our whole approach here. You see that? Yeah. One of the most challenging things for ski mountaineering is access, is getting to these really special lines. You can go and frame certain scenarios that might take two or three hours to get to. It feels a little bit like cheating, but it's really helpful. So far, so good. I think we should go over there ourselves. Yeah. On an expedition like this, clearly weight is an issue and bulk is an issue. You need to have your ropes and your crampons and your tools and your food. So having a drone that's this big that I can kind of fold up and put into my pack, it's absolutely worth its weight in gold. Or having the Mavic 2 was extremely useful because it's always so hard to give a sense of scale and give a sense of context of where we are and what we're doing. If you're trying to let people understand, you know, truly where you are and how remote you are. You know, on a trip like this, I'm really trying to cover the shooting on the fly. That's my favorite way of shooting. When you're actually in the mountains, you have an objective and you're just climbing and filming and shooting. And it's just kind of an honest representation of your experience. You know, you're, you're just creating images to tell that story. For a professional camera system, image quality is clearly really important. And the Mavic 2 Pro has a one inch sensor, adjustable aperture. Just gives me some latitude to work with. I always love the aerial perspective. The biggest thing is that it gives me an angle that I used to think was impossible. <laughs> You really need a piece of equipment that's intuitive and easy to fly so you can stay focused on where you are and being present. And with these drones, for the first time, I've seen that view that I'm having on the top of this mountain. It's the closest that I've seen that portrays what I feel, having been there. Some of my favorite shots from this trip are definitely from the ski shots. That's traditionally been a very difficult place to get good aerial shots. In this case with the Mavic 2, it's just such an easy system to use. You know, you can make a shot like that happen. I think the technical advances in cameras has really allowed people much more access to stories because there are a lot of stories that probably never would have been told if there wasn't that accessibility. It motivates people creatively and I think that that's a good thing. <laughs>